Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 29 April 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Senior Deputy Editor Skulk Berger writes that as the world celebrates glass, South Africa's industry seeks to up its circular economy game. Glass manufacturers in South Africa are working to improve the energy efficiency of their products, including by using more energy efficient equipment and furnaces, improving the efficiency of the products through design, and making supply chains more efficient. The engineering news features focus on gas, with the industry gearing up for growth. Metal fabrication, where fasteners, bearings and welding equipment is all within one supplier's ambit. Sewerage and effluent, where privately run Cape Town wastewater plants are in good condition. And heavy lifting and abnormal loads, where a lifting project in the paper industry comes to a close. The mining weekly features include a special focus on the Mandela Mining Precinct, where implementable solutions are being pursued. This week's business leader is Tafadzwa Chibanguza, COO of the Steel and Engineering Industries Federation of Southern Africa. And as this week's cartoon shows, South Africa's poor face extreme exposure not only to social ills, but also the natural elements, ones that are becoming increasingly hostile, as the recent deadly floods in KwaZulu-Natal demonstrated. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, the magazine that offers you news about developments in the real economy. Happy reading and see you next time. 